So another state machine. I'll show you real quick how this one's set up. So we've got all of our like poses that I made. I just exported them as object files. And we created a simple animator. And then we created a, an empty object. It's called event controller. It looks complicated, but I'll explain it in a second. We've got all of our um, posed things. They're just invisible right now. All right, they're just all lined up on top of each other, so that um, when you animate it, it actually looks like it's all right. Okay, so I'll just show you what happens when we turn it on. So the default pose here is the idle pose. Obviously, he's just standing there. Then if you want him to go flying, it switches the state machine to flying, and it flies a bit. And if we want to go back to crouching, we can crouch. I didn't take a lot of time rigging it or posing it. This is just to show off the state machine, really. So what it's looking for here is it's looking for a flying condition to be true or false on the, the entrance and exit. And how it changes it is by using uh, subscriptable objects on event listeners um, or uh, with game events um, written by Unite Code, which is really, really good. So what it's looking for is on the enter behavior and on exit behavior and then it's calling over here so we have so on our idle for instance we look we've got idle enter and idle exit then over here in our event controller we've got idle enter and idle exit and all we're doing is dragging on our standing dragon and setting it to active and on the exit we're dragging on our standing dragon and setting it to false you can see there's the check boxes so that's that's really all it is i just did that same thing for all of the events here. So we have crouching here and on, on crouching, enter, or sitting, I don't know why I named it that way, but sitting and sitting, sitting, enter, sitting, exit. And then in our event controller, we have sitting, enter, sitting, exit, sitting, dragon, sitting, dragon, on and off. And then flying, it's the same thing. It's just on these transitions, it's just a time transition instead of a uh, trigger transition. So really uh, using something like this is really pretty nifty for getting your game to work like you want it to. And you can see I don't even I don't even have animations, it's just posed models. Literally just posed models. And so you can set it up however you want and it works really nice. So yeah, if you want a more in-depth um, tutorial on this, I made one. You can go check it out. Thanks, bye.